So execution for diver one, execution for diver two. The remaining judges then are looking specifically and only at the synchronization. So we've got a split of judges across the pool and then we do some hickory jiggery. I won't go into the finer details of how it's calculated, but it's basically trying to average out the score. So you get execution marks. So how good are the individual dives? And then you get the synchronization marks. They're lumped together, multiplied by the degree of difficulty to give you the total. Bear with us. It sounds more complicated than it is. When the competition unfolds, it will make sense as we go on. Who are diving number two of Yun and Mun. So, uh, yeah, I guess if we're looking at paper, these are the ones to beat. But then you've got a wealth of experience, certainly in the Canadian pair here. Rosalind and Megan, they're going to be consistent. They get to, to open this competition and put the pressure on the other girls. So let's see how people react. And, of course, uh, Tony Couch and Sarah Barrow are part of that team. Had quite a hair-raising trip back from Shanghai. Uh, their plane had to abort in Siberia. It took them a long time to get back, so they haven't had the ideal preparation for this, really, because they were hoping to be back about uh, two or three days earlier, and were held over in Siberia for about uh, 24 hours. Yes, indeed. I mean, the, uh, the airline did a fantastic job of getting them back um, as swiftly and as quickly as they did, and so everyone's bedded in now, readjusted to the time zone. There's a few sleepy people, but most of these teams are Canadians. Australians have been out in Shanghai, so everyone's had the same kind of lead-in to this. As opposed to Jack Law, is it? <laughs> yeah, Jack was on fire this morning, wasn't he? And uh, yeah, let's wait and see how these girls find this. It's a straight final, so unlike the guys this morning who were in prelim mode where it didn't really matter, this matters. I'm sure the girls would like to do more dives. You should ask them when we interview them. Okay. Do you it want to do more? It just seems a bit of an anomaly. You think that the girls probably would want to do the same as the men, but at the moment the, the restrictions are they do five rounds and uh, not six. That's right. Well, when yeah, when Peter and I won our Olympic medal uh, in Athens, it was only five rounds in the uh, in the men's as well, and then they decided to uh, to up the ante, as it were. So It'll be the same dive, so you won't see the same dive followed by the same dive. They'll, they'll change things around. Like for example. Canadians will start with an inward dive. The first Malaysian pair will go with a reverse dive. Then we'll see reverse dives from everybody else. And then in the second round, uh, the Canadians do their reverse dive. And um, there's a back dive. From... They're the elegant dives. This is what diving used to be like, where you're just doing very simple movements, gliding through the air. And then, of course, the final three rounds of five are the chunky rounds. The, 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 the big dives come out, the 3.0, 3.3, 3.2. These are the hardest dives in the world. And so mistakes can happen to get rid of the required dive. So I'm pleased that they are keeping them in for the synchro contest. So Sarah Barrow and Tonya Couch are getting ready for the synchronized 10 meter platform. We're going to go at 22. Uh, it was supposed to be 10 to, but there seems to be some sort of problem with the pads, with the input pads for the scores. But we do have some divers up on the board. So I think we now have the all clear to go for the final. It is a straight final of the women's synchronized 10 meter platform. There are five pairings, two from Malaysia, one from Canada, one from England, and one from Australia. So we'll uh, take you through all the minutiae, all the intricate parts of this you need to know. Well, they were ready to go. Now they're backing off again. So it gives uh, myself and Leon Taylor a chance to run through again what's going to happen here. Five rounds of dives then, Leon. And the first two rounds are the obligatory, the ones they have to do. Uh, and then the optionals come up. 